2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Chariot Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Hey guys, how's it going up there? It's, uh, it's a great atmosphere down here on the course at Macquarie Shores Golf Club. Looking forward to bringing the folks at home a bit of the action from the course. That's heading for the fairway. Time for the second shot into the first. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. Running up the birdie putt here. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the round. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Here we are at the second tee. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down in the third hole as Justin Thomas gets ready to hit. That is outstanding. Standing and snatches a birdie as well. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Let's return to live play now. Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Outside chance here for the birdie. Oh, this looks pure. That's a good putt to make. You'll take that. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. And after that hole, leading Matt Kuchip by a shot. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play?
That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. A bit short with that effort. Ooh, that almost went down. Well, I don't mind this par putt. This one's online. Bogey putt coming up here. And down it goes. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Teeing off here at the fourth. That'll work, that's fine. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Great looking shot, this. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Four feet to the cup. Well, she should be proud of herself, bouncing back from the bogey with a booty there. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. John, give us a small update. Well, guys, I'm down on the 10th. This is Billy Borschel's next shot. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well, that shows the hands of a surgeon, doesn't it? My surgeon's hands were a little shaky. That's why I have the scar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. Got all of that one, using all the power to try and take it deep under par. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. It's up, it could be in. That's very impressive. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. And this effort from Patrick Cantlay just a short while ago. Lining up for his third now. Nicely hold. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. We love the birdies with big wings. Celebrate your eagle, but let's go and make a couple more. Uh, 
And this one might just sneak off the fairway. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Going with the hybrid. A wonderful shot. Well played. A chance for Booty here at the sixth. This one's looking good. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And with that, she'll move to five under par. She's our leader.